it's a problem when they jump in front of people because it's dangerous. Most likely it is. It's not safe. That concern is understandable. After police say the getaway vehicle for some committing violent crime is not on four wheels. Lately, it's on two. In surveillance video after surveillance video, you see illegal scooters or mopeds being used to approach victims, strike, then quickly leave the scene. Chief of Patrol John Shell tells PIX11 News while there are some challenges to preventing these crimes, the department is zeroing in on not only getting illegal bikes off the streets, but also arresting those who use them for no good. In the last couple of years, scooters, influx of scooters committing crimes because they're evasive, easy to get, get away. And we also, ghost cars are being used also. Can't forget about the ghost cars. Shell says criminals may believe riding on two wheels means police can't catch up with them. But that's where the department's technology comes in. What does that mean? We all talk now on one frequency when it comes to pursuits. We use aviation, eyes in the sky. We know to go to strategic points to shut down bridges, shut down tolls, and it's paid dividends. We've taken about 18,000 illegal mopeds, ATVs, and scooters off the street. Uh, I know for a fact that it's definitely contributing to the 25% reduction in street violence this year. Police arrested Thomas Obreu using some of that technology the chief is talking about. Obreu is accused of shooting four people, killing one of them, an 87-year-old man, after allegedly going on a violent rampage while riding a scooter. Earlier this week in the Bronx, four people were shot, including two children. And the gunman you see on this surveillance video was on the back of a scooter. While police are still looking for these two men they say were involved, this man who lives in the area says the heat is on for anyone riding anything on two wheels. They're scary. These police over here, 4 6 precinct, 52 precinct, are very aggressive and hands on. He did not want to show his face on camera, but says he has seen the department's enforcement, rounding up illegal bikes and stopping those who ride them. He tells us his only hope is police are zeroing in on the right people. Some people ride the scooter just to stay out of trouble and just to feed their family. But then there's others who do other things. We asked Shell how can officers determine those up to no good and those just going about their business. We support the Uber Eats people on their bikes and the e-bikes. We're, we're not targeting them whatsoever. They have, they have to make a living and we, and we leave them alone, obviously. But we're targeting criminals who are carrying illegal firearms on illegal scooters hurting our community. And as far as the community, the NYPD is asking anyone with information on the crimes we're talking about to call Crime Stoppers. The number's right there. It's 800-577-TIPS. For now, we're live in lower Manhattan. Nicole Johnson.